welcome back. I'm excited to share the video with you all today. I am going at thrift store shopping with my mom and Oakland <laughs> and my sisters. And I thought we'd do a haul at the end to show you all what we found, do a little bit of filming in the stores, and then I'll show you what we found at the end. So I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, I'm back. I wanted to show you a few of the things I got. My mom found a couple of items, uh, but my sisters did not find anything. So I didn't actually film any of mom's stuff. She said she, well, she got like a couple of Corel dishes, like the plate and I think some bowls maybe. And I believe a pillow or a couple pillows maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, but I didn't get around to filming that. So I hope that is okay. Anyway, I'll show you what I found. I also found a couple other pieces uh, at one other time I went. So I thought I would include those in this haul. So I have this polka dot blue skirt. This was one I'd found um, the other time I went. And this is a basic editions one. So it's around like a knee length or so. and has a little bit of a slit in the back. And I just thought it looks like a really fun summer skirt pairing with like a white top or something. I'm still searching for that perfect white top. I have other pieces that I would also wear it with, so <laughs> yeah. Anyway, speaking of skirts, I guess I'm just finding a lot of skirts right now. So this is one I found um, the other day with mom and them. This is a lightweight, I would say it's like, I don't know, it, it looks kind of like denim, but it's not. It's very lightweight and it is a, Niato brand. I really don't know what the brand is. And this one was $4.99. I think that's generally the price of their skirts. I found a shirt for Caden. It's just a blue and white gingham check shirt. This one was $2.199. $1 so hopefully he can wear that. I think it's, it's a size eight, but I do feel like it looks a little small for a size eight. But in any case, even if he doesn't wear it right now, he can wear it later on. Uh, I found a tank top for him, has some palm trees on it. Also some trunks that I think both boys can wear. They're technically Caden's size, but I think Jackson has worn them already, so we always need trunks around here. Um, I'm trying to remember if I found everything that I have, you know, accumulated. I only went two different times, so I'm thinking I have mostly everything, but I could have missed a few things. But I found this one the other day and my friend Hannah had given me one like this in the newborn size and I'm sure some of you guys will remember Oakland wearing it but this is a six months and I was so excited to find another one because I just love it. I love little chambray overall stuff. Um, this one was $1.99 so that I'm excited for Oakland. Uh, I picked up a couple of toys that I do plan to sanitize. This is one that you know just makes some sounds and noises. Who's in here? Who's in here? 
So we did get another vehicle if you guys watched the vlog I did. Um, and it does have like a D DVD player in it and we actually don't own any DVDs pretty much. So we're gonna be taking a trip to Ohio here this summer. So I just picked up a bunch of um, DVDs just some, you know, random kid-friendly ones for the most part. And they're all like $1.99. Like yeah, we have one more out in the Suburban. So we have that. And then I also have another bag of toys that I plan to either put them in like the washer or the dishwasher or just throw them away if I can't, you know, completely sanitize them or feel like they're clean. But these look like in really good shape and it's a bag of a bunch of them for $4.99. So I had gotten rid of quite a few of the boys toys. I do have some of them yet, but Oakland's getting to the stage of, you know, playing with toys and everything. So thrift stores are always a great place to pick up toys. Uh, and then one other piece I have is one I found the other day. And this is just a unique little dish and I'm sure I'll probably use it for a plant of some sort. But this one was $1.99 as well. And my mom saw this pan and I actually needed this size. I had a small one like this uh, earlier and I got rid of it because I used it and stuff. So this is, I forget what it was, $3.99 maybe or something. So it's just, it looks in pretty good condition as far as, you know, wear and tear and stuff. I also found this little blue romper for Oakland. It is so cute. It's like, I don't know, has some ruffles up here. And it is a, what is the brand? Cherokee, three months. So I think that would be an older Target piece maybe. I have boys crawling underneath my bed here in case you're, you know, hearing some sounds. <laughs> okay, so that's all the things that I found the other day at Goodwill plus the other trip I had taken once. Uh, but I also want to show you around and to show you some of my favorite uh, thrifted items that I've found in years gone by. I'm sure a lot of you have seen a lot of this stuff, but for those of you who are new, uh, I do love thrifting and I have found quite a few things over the years. And I just thought I'd show you around. Mostly it's just going to be like home decor items. Let me show you some of the things around my house. So probably most of you who follow me for a while know that this thing was secondhand. We got it at Habitat for Humanity Restore, so it was still a pretty hefty price, but I think I got it for around $80, which this is a giant faux fiddle leaf fig tree. I don't know if you can see the scale of it. Um, I'm guessing it is probably at least seven foot tall. And these would definitely be a lot more expensive if I were, were to buy them new. Plus, I love the shape of it. It looks pretty, you know, legit as far as, you know, how real it looks. And it's also, you know, I don't have to take care of it. I do have a real one outside and I'm doing my best to keep that one alive. But this is probably one of my favorite items, albeit it was more expensive than just your normal, you know, Goodwill or something. Up here on my shelf, I have several of these around my house. This was thrifted. This thing was thrifted. Here on my coffee table, I've got a couple other things that are thrifted as well. I have these baskets. They're like two of them, and they're actually from Ikea, but I found them at Goodwill, I think, and as well as this one. This is part of my thrifting my Pinterest board, if you all watched that video. This is something I love to watch for is coffee table books. I took the cover off of this one, but I just like it because it's like a big neutral color, but also, you know, something nice to look at if you really want to. This is in Florida, Palm Beach Houses, it's called. I really haven't looked through it very much, but uh, that's always something I like to look out for. Starting over here at my shelf, I'm trying to remember what all I thrifted on here. Let me see. All right, so this basket is one I found in Ohio a long time ago, as well as like a scarf here. I just have it draped out over the side. And I have these candlesticks. They're like soapstone, I believe. They're a little bit wobbly, and the candles wanna go wonky on me a little bit, but I think they're so unique. Here's another coffee table book I had picked up, as well as this blue pot here. I think this one was actually yard sale, so I guess it wouldn't be thrifted, but I find most of my pots for my plants, you know, secondhand. I do find some occasionally like newer. On the top shelf, these two are both thrifted. This is actually a new item from Target that they sold at Goodwill, so it was a little bit more pricey than normal, but 
It's something that is very neutral that I can use later on. As well as these little bowls here. I just have them stacked up, add some height, some interest, some texture, and I love that. Something I find frequently is little trays of all sorts of sizes. So this one was like a unique one to me and I picked it up. It's a walnut, I believe. That's what I think it is anyway. And so I just have this on my little side table and I've got my Christmas pictures cards on here. I put them in a little ring here. I know this isn't thrifted, but I've done this for years already and it's just a good way to, you know, be able to look at cards. Here in my kitchen, I have it pulled forward right now, but this whole thing was thrifted. I love finding copper items. I've been trying to contain myself the last while though because, you know, sometimes I don't have room for them. These are just a few things I've found. Uh, this is like a paper towel holder. It had come with like a gold swirly thing up here, but I took it off just to kind of simplify it. And I have this copper container that is perfect for, um, these and I'm actually thinking my friend Hannah found me this one. Pretty sure she did. I could be wrong. <laughs> but anyway, this is also a like a marble cheese board and I had found that one at Goodwill. So I just have it here. You know, it's functional plus it's pretty. This I think was actually a yard sale so technically I shouldn't have this out but I had pulled it out well pulling out the other thing so I was thinking it's thrifted but it's a yard sale so anyway yard sales thrift stores there's always you know good things to be found I have some copper containers I don't have anything in them right now but a lot of times I'll pull out more copper stuff during the fall I just feel like copper and fall go together but these are great for you know plants and whatnot there's always so many containers and stuff to to be found at thrift stores so I love finding those. I also have this cute wooden bowl that I picked up uh, last year I think and it was four dollars three ninety nine so this is just a nice size especially if you'd want to set some fruit in it or you know really whatever you could put some dinner rolls in it if you're serving uh, bread or whatnot. On my little Ikea rolling cart here I have a copper container where I usually keep like onions or garlic or something and I'm not sure what it's technically made for, but this one was $4.99 whenever I got it, and I just think it adds a little bit of cuteness, plus it's functional. Something else is this basket. I have my fiddle leaf fig plant in it. This one I've had for a good long while already. So moving upstairs to my bathroom. Now this is nothing like extremely out of the ordinary, but I have found multiple of these. I think I found them all at once maybe, but I found some brass candlesticks. I have more of them too. And actually, if you ever find candlesticks and you don't like the color of them or something, you could always spray paint them. So keep that in mind. I think I did find this frame thrifted, but I just put my own picture in then. Uh, so that was thrifted as well. Something I found in the last, I don't know, half year maybe is this little basket. It would be a good size for like a waste basket or even uh, depending what size plant I would have I could put it in there. I still haven't found the right size plant for it So it's still around here, but I have also used it to like put things in and stuff. So That was a good find. Okay, so this lamp I was thinking I had thrifted but I'm actually thinking I found it at a yard sale This is one that I had found I think it was like eight dollars maybe and I did buy another shade for it But that was one thing I was able to find one time and another basket is this one. This one I remember finding pretty soon after we moved here. And it's actually, I think it's from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx or something because I've seen some since then, but that was a good find. I love being able to find baskets at thrift stores. So in Oakland's nursery, I have one of these accordion things and I actually have one in my bedroom as well. But that's always something you can find pretty frequently at Goodwills or thrift stores. As well as here's another little copper pot for this faux succulent in here. That is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Let me know if you want me to keep doing thrifting videos. I love doing them. I love thrifting obviously as I've mentioned before. So if you're new hit the subscribe button. I would love that. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hi baby. I gotta show your face. Yeah.